All right, today is Wednesday, April 5th, and had another pretty bad mental day today. I was down $200, as you saw from the thumbnail, and I kind of want to break down uh, what happened today mentally and on price action and just get a rough idea. Um, I did not have a plan going in today, which I'm already starting off on a bad note. I set my levels for this morning. I had a rough idea of where I thought we were going to go. It looked like we were going to be breaking down this overnight low, and we did. But as far as being prepared for anything, it was just pretty poor. Um, and I wanted to kind of go over exactly uh, what my trades were today. So, And I took a lot of trades, definitely overtraded today, um, back and forth. I took eight trades. I had four winners and four losers. And my losers were just bigger today. So that's a... Um, it was a rough day for me. Uh, I think also a, a lot of it was um, from yesterday losing, you know, about 250, 260 and just mentally being in such a bad space. So I've got a lot of work to do, but I want to at least break down some of these things and uh, see where I went wrong. Uh, this fr the first one here, early in the day, it was, um, let me move this real quick. Early in the day, we had um kind of, we started selling off pretty early in the day um i had my overnight low at 41 let's see let's see i had my overnight low at um 41.18 and um what i was seeing here was i was seeing basically a rejection off of 41.18 um as we we broke above it and it broke below it and we retested it on 40 uh 41.18 so i went short took a quick scalp in hindsight could have held on a lot longer there but i just wanted to get in and out and take it take the win when i could get it um the second trade was roughly the same situation it was right after that test on 40.18 i just took the second part of the trade so overall i guess an 80 dollar move um on that same kind of trade idea so i was feeling pretty good about that um and then the big loss came so i raced it all and then and some so this came uh as we started to approach uh 4100 um which you know around that 4100 level we had we bounced and i was expecting some sort of like h pattern here so kind of this continuation down uh you know we tested 4110 which was a pretty pretty important previous level from i want to say you know a couple of days ago so i was happy to see this providing some resistance so i ended up taking it short here and um sure enough it still had some more to go um one of the things i'm going to be trying to implement here is probably start using fibonacci retracement levels um, in hopes to avoid kind of these fake, um, you know, not necessarily these fake outs, but I guess if the move has a little bit more continuation, right? If I do the Fibonacci level from this high up here from 4121 and bring it down to here, it's probably more likely that it's going to hit, you know, a certain Fibonacci retracement level here instead of here. I think this was closer to 50 or 60% versus this right here. So um, in hindsight, obviously, you know, got some stuff to learn, but maybe I can start implementing some Fibonacci retracement levels to maybe um, have the right idea, but instead get short up here versus over here. So we'll look into that. Otherwise, um, I had a huge stop. You know, I, uh, I had my stop way up here, I want to say like 41.12. Yeah, 41.12. Um, just not a good good stop. Didn't manage that trade well at all. And I decided to lose some more shortly afterwards. So um, I took another short trade here. Um, <clears throat> I was kind of chasing this down, and I, I got in on the tail end of this candle here. And unfortunately, it turned right around on me, and I got stopped out pretty quickly. Um, so that was kind of rough. Um, just chasing, right, and not having a plan because, I mean, would have been a great place for an entry if I had just held longer, but not having a plan and not setting my stop loss, you know, above this high is what's, you know, what's getting me in trouble a lot of times. So again, not having a plan from the beginning of the day is now coming back to bite me here. So again, just, just rough overall. Um, had another $50 trade. 
and this was a little bit longer of a move. Um, it seemed to me like we were going to st still keep heading down after this. After uh, I was still taking shorts. I was still trying to ride it all the way down. This one, I, w I was definitely playing it pretty risky. And I had a pretty deep stop loss here. I got short here, and I had my stop loss above, again, 41.12. Ended up working out. I got a little nervous up here because I wasn't sure if we were going to turn around. Again, not having a plan. Um, but I ended up just holding, and it, it worked out in my favor, which was pretty nice. Made some money back. Um, obviously, the trend today was over trading like crazy because I gave it back double on the very next trade. I went short here again. I mean, if, you know, this was the bottom of our trading range today. So let me zoom out, get today's range. This is today's range. And what I'm doing here, right at basically 4,100 flat, I'm trying to get short at the very bottom of this. And it's just not, again, no plan. I'm just chasing this long move down. I was watching uh, VX all day today, trying to, you know, keep an eye on the volatility index to try to see if there's a correlation between certain levels of VX versus ES moving in a certain direction. And it was really choppy all day today as well. So again, not having a plan, not having anything figured out, and then chasing everything all day and over trading. I mean, this is a combination of so many different psychological issues that destroy traders. And I'm just full of them right now so i'm trying to be as transparent as possible showing my mistakes and not having a plan and over trading and chasing is what led me to shorting at the very bottom where it was going to reverse for the rest of the day i mean i had eight trades today that is way way more than i need to be trading um i did end up catching a little bit so we had a um I was a little, so here was the bottom at 4,100. I waited for a while. I didn't take a trade for quite some time. And right here, this was starting to kind of look like a bull flag for me or, you know, a bull pennant, some, something of the sorts. I, I was seeing consolidation and I didn't see any continuation after this drop down here. So, you know, we had some co consolidation. This looked like an attempt to try to grab some liquidity. Um, so I got long on this large candle here. It kind of almost looks like an engulfing candle. So I got long here, set my stop loss pretty deep. I set it down to like 41.04 or somewhere around here. Um, I was, this was extremely risky trade because this drawdown here was pretty deep. And I guess looking back, that drawdown pulled right around this area of consolidation at 41.05. Um, so I guess that worked out pretty well. Um, and then it just took off. So I, I took off, you know, the five contracts at the top took my 130 and uh it wouldn't be me if i didn't have another trade and gave some money back at the end of the day so um this one was another one that was pretty risky um so again we were kind of this, the the last part of the day we were kind of trending upwards here so once we had bottomed out at 4100 a couple of tests on the bottom we started to move in the upward direction um, and I, I guess I was still trying to short, right? Because right here was that level from my first trade, which is 41.18. So if we zoom out, well, 41.16. So we had 41.16 to 41.18 in this range right here. And um, we had this rejection off of that, right? So the 41.16, 41.17, that rejection was pretty hard off of that level. And so I was thinking, okay, we're headed right back down but I was just misreading everything and sure enough went against me and um, just overall bad day. You know, I'm not going to try to make excuses. Psych psychologically speaking, uh, it's been a pretty bad day and, you know, I want to be as transparent as possible and talk about my trades, win or lose. And that's why I'm doing this. But I lost $200 today because my awful mentality transferred from yesterday to today and I've got to continue um, getting better, being better, working on my psychology, um, working on my plan, working on my market knowledge, working on everything. I've only been trading for six months, so I'm going to try to keep my head up, try not to destroy myself and let myself spiral into these huge psychological um, spirals that I tend to go into. So we will see, uh, but that's all I have for today. Peace.